Hey everyone, welcome to my installation video. Today we're going to be working on a 2022 Toyota Tundra. This one in particular is the TRD off-road package. And with that, it comes with this TRD stamped into the grill. However, it has no effect to it, so it kind of just blends into the rest of the grill for me. So I found this company off of a forum. It's called TBD Vinyl Decals. And they make these vinyl decal inserts for that particular spot on the grill. You can get them in uh, basically any color. I went ahead and chose red just for my personal preference, um, but we're gonna go ahead and put that on there and uh, see how it looks. Hopefully it'll give it a nice pop and that aggressive TRD look that I'm looking for. I do recommend uh, watching this video to its entirety first before trying it yourself. That way you can see if I made any mistakes, learn from that, or see if there's any uh, secrets or shortcuts that uh, you can take to help speed along this process. You do notice that I am parked in the garage. Um, we're here in Texas, it's pretty hot right now, it's July, and uh, the optimal temperature to do this is uh, definitely below 80 degrees. So I had a fan on it, I let it sit for a while. It is certainly cool to the touch, so I'm pretty confident that we're gonna have a good uh, application process now. So I hope this helps. Uh, leave any comments, uh, like the video, and uh, let's go. Alright guys, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get started with ensuring my own hands are clean because I don't want to get any oil or grease or dirt from my own self onto the application side or the vinyl decals or anything like that. So once I'm satisfied that that's uh, taken care of, then I'm going to just take some of these inexpensive uh, alcohol prep pads from uh, Walgreens, CVS, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and get in the nooks and crannies of those letters make sure it's all clean free of any oil dust debris that gets jazz these are pretty like i said inexpensive so you don't have to worry about using them sparingly go ahead and uh, get some of the outside area as well in case uh, any of the vinyl decals make contact with that surface we are going to be doing a wet application process so we can uh, put them on there kind of give them a slide into position until we're satisfied that we have the correct placement of the decals. I recommend this highly over a dry application process because once they're on there, it's gonna be pretty tough to get those off and recentered if you make a mistake. I don't trust myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the manufacturer's recommended process, which is the wet application. satisfied that the application site is clean, dry, and ready to go. I have my uh, supplies here ready to go. I have a Dawn soap and water mixture that's going to help with that wet application process, sliding those letters uh, into place there. Um, so definitely recommend that over a dry application process. I have a painter's brush, like a foam brush, that's just going to help me uh, blot the uh, the letters into place on the back of the grill there and uh, get that nice and secured. I also got a microfiber towel and I have my decals ready. Um, you'll notice I put the painters tape there in the corner that's going to help me peel off the decal um, and then I'm just going to go left to right TRD so uh, definitely recommend that over the old sticker method of like using your fingers to uh, peel it off the back there. Um, because that could ruin the integrity of the decal and uh, set you back. So um, that's what they recommend and that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the, the site uh, with my soap mixture. A um, little go a long way, don't have to overdo it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the decal and peel it off. You'll, easy, you'll uh, notice how easy it's peeling. Um, so I'll just take that, go ahead and remove the painter's tape from the uh, decal here and then I'll just go ahead and set that on my truck uh, since it's painters tape I don't have to worry about it peeling off the paint or anything like that so that's nice and we'll go ahead and uh, stick it on so uh, just kind of get it into position um, like I said the wet application process will help you move it along position it the way you want to then I'll go ahead and just take this brush and, and blot it 
into position as well, removing any of the uh, excess soap water mixture and uh, making sure that all surface of the decal is adhering to the grill. Um, you'll notice I'm not scrubbing or painting, I'm just blotting right now. So now that I think it's in a good spot, I'll take my uh, microfiber cloth here and just kind of damp, um, dab it a little bit. Again, don't want to rub or scrub, keep it in its position, just picking up some of that extra moisture, that's all. Yeah, that looks great, so uh, I say let's uh, continue. So it looks fantastic. It really looks good. I think it turned out even better than what I thought it was going to look like. So right now, um, I can tell you that it was a little tricky. These are fairly small letters, and uh, two out of three have a lot of curves, the R and the D. So that was a little bit of a task, putting it right into position. But that wet application process uh, really helps out a lot. It's very forgiving. So definitely recommend doing that. Um, now we just have to let it dry and cure so you can uh, either let it sit and let nature take its course. Um, I would recommend keeping an eye on it if you're going to do that. Uh, have your microfiber cloth ready to go, blotting out any bubbles that appear, any liquid that is seeping out. I'm going to go ahead and use a heat gun. If you uh, don't trust yourself well enough to use a heat gun because that can damage it if you go overboard, you can use a blow dryer. Uh, I would recommend still using caution because you know, as soon as you mess it up, you mess it up and you're going to have to most likely get some, some new letters. So I'm going to go a little at a time here, take it slow, nice and easy, just enough to maybe not 100% cure it on there, but speed the process along so that I can get on the road fairly quickly. So I've done about as much as I can do here. So now I'm just going to let it sit and do its thing. I know I said I wanted to get on the road fairly quickly, but definitely don't want to rush this very important process of letting the decals adhere to the grill. So, you know, God forbid I get driving and caught in a rainstorm or something like that. So, um, but I, I love them. It looks great. It's a, uh, a nice thin decal. So it still has that indented look, which I think gives it a nice pop. Uh, looks like it came right from the factory uh, assembly line like this, which I think they should come like that, but I'm glad there was a company out there to, to make these decals for me to add myself. So the company's TVD Vinyl Decals, that's Tango Victor Delta. So the website tvdvinyldecals.com. Uh, go check them out. Uh, made in the USA, backed by lifetime warranty, very affordable uh, as compared to some of the other ones that I've seen around. And they weren't backed by lifetime warranty, so that's definitely a plus. But thanks for watching. Give me a like, drop a comment. Let me see what your project looked like and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks y'all.